YouTube, what it do? Your boy is back, and I got a huge surprise for you. Wood, so official. UV Beats. UV Beats. Y'all see it, man. This is the exact location that I shot my first video at, man, with Red Ruby with the two SA Sundowns, man. This is the exact location. I had to bring it back for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because your boy is back, you know, and I'm here to stay this time, man. I'm super excited, you know what I'm saying, for the plans that I have. Y'all see, man, a lot of professionalism has went into this channel. I definitely start investing in everything else, but everything to the side, man. If you are not following my Instagram or my Facebook page, man, you know, this will be a new introduction to y'all. But, you know, a lot of y'all who even are following me don't even know everything that I have going on with my baby boy, Big Chief, man. So well, I'm about to go ahead and turn this camera around and we about to do our first walk around to pop off this channel yes sir all right y'all so as i give y'all a quick walk around before i go into detail i just wanted to give y'all a chance to uh get a backstory you know what i'm saying of the reason why i got big chief man crazy story just to sum it up man i had a 2004 dodge ram that i was going to be putting on the channel and it died in the middle of nowhere man um of course with covid and all of this uh chip situation i'm sure everybody know how crazy the um used car market is and um yeah i had the opportunity to get out of my charger man you know uh black ice was a real real nice charger i did everything you could do to it but it wasn't exactly what i wanted so uh i had the opportunity to uh get out of black ice scotch-free i even got a little bit of cash on the back end so uh yeah, man, that's basically how I ended up with Big Chief. And um, I bought it out of Toyota Plano, bone stock, bought it back in July, 2021, man. So what y'all see is a project that has been completed in less than a year, man. So with that being said, I'm about to go ahead and give y'all further detail. So starting off with the obvious, it is lifted. This is a 2015 Toyota Tundra 1794. It has an eight inch rough country lift on it. Technically it's a six inch, but what I ended up doing was using a, hey, appreciate it, bro, thank you. <laughs> uh, so it was a uh, six inch rough country lift. What I did was um, I used four wheel drive loaded struts to get it up to eight inches so technically it's at eight inches um it's an eight inch lift in the front four inch lift in the back um on 26 by 12s these are xf uh off-road these are the flow fours with the floating center caps we got venom power tires these are 35 by 13 and a half 26. now um one thing to note on these Tundras, they have a real crazy bolt pattern. It's a uh, five by 150. So with that being said, I do have, let's see, adapters to make these wheels fit. So um, yeah, if you do have a uh, Toyota Tundra and you're looking to get some wheels on your truck, um, definitely look to getting some adapters. I'll put a link in the description from the store that I got mine at, zero problems. And these were actually recommended to me by other uh, by other Tundra owners. So as you can see, um, I do have um, new running boards. These running boards are the Amp Research. Uh, so they do go up and down when the doors are closed. Right now we having technical difficulties. Um, although I am in Texas, um, I have been living in Cleveland, Ohio. No one in California. God damn it. I asked for it. I've been asking for it. I got it. 
So I'm sure some salt has got into the motor and uh, tampered with it and made, you know, basically made it null and void. So right now I'm working through a warranty claim to get that situated. So on to the front of the truck, as you can see, we have upgraded headlights, four projector. These are the Alpha Rex Pros plank style projectors. I bought these off of eBay. These are some really, really nice headlights. As y'all can see in the intro, they do have a startup sequence. I will get a nighttime visual for you all as well. Um, fog lights, they are LED fog lights. Um, just bought them off of Amazon and head into the center of the grill. We have a light up emblem. So again, as y'all seen in the intro, it does have a sequence when it starts up. Super dope emblem, man. Found it on Etsy. Couldn't find it on nowhere else and I can't even find it anymore. So I got lucky to even have this emblem. And realistically, I had to do some cutting to get it fit, get it to fit. So yeah, this is at this point a one-off. I haven't seen anyone else with this emblem. So of course, if you have a truck, first thing you do, shorty antenna. Uh, lean on to the suspension, man. Whenever you have a um, whenever you have a truck that's lifted higher than six inches, I know majority of the trucks are this way. When you lift it higher than six inches, you have to upgrade this upper control arm right here. So this is an upgraded upper control arm. As you can see, my angles are pretty good. Nothing is stressing right now. So uh, yeah, had to do a little bit of cutting, slicing and dicing to uh, get the wheels to fit, but nonetheless, did a pretty decent job. So let's roll on to the back. As y'all can see, I do have a bed cover. Real nice, it's a soft bed cover. Um, bought this one off of uh, Amazon as well. The brand is Tiger. Um, no issues with leaking, so I'll put a link in the description so you can get that. Here we are. We have the HRS tail lights, man. These tail lights are super dope as well. They have a uh, turn on sequence at night, um, all LED. So right here. You have your uh, sequential turn signal. And then of course you have all the LED functions. Um, true dual exhaust, true dual exhaust. Um, Flowmaster Super 10s, as you can see down here. This was one of my first mods. Oh, he out there getting it. But yeah, this was one of my first mods, so uh, yeah, man, super, super dope sound, man. These Tundras have a very unique sound to them. And uh, yeah, we gonna get a sound clip uh, before the end of this video. And while the sun is shining on it, man, you see in the paint, there is a blue and turquoise pearl in it. So it's not just a straight black. Um, it actually almost looked blue in person, man. It's a super dope color. Um, Y'all should know by now, black is my go-to color. Um, but this looks even better with the flakes in it. Going along the back, y'all see it, man. Custom plates, you know what I'm saying? Big 1794 is what it is. <laughs> so we about to go ahead and run into the interior. So first, uh, first thing, man, please excuse how dirty my interior is. I had, I hadn't had a chance to clean it out. It's not bad, but it's not the best. So what comes with the Tundra on these 1794 interiors, they come with some dope floor mats. So we'll go to the back so you can see them nice and clean. Bam. There you go. As y'all can see, I do have the peanut butter brown seats, man. You can't go wrong. Yes, sir. If y'all notice, I do have black pillars. Everything is suede, by the way. This is suede. So I suede, uh, did the suede on the pillars and I painted all the plastic pieces or what you would call a die. I did use a die, so. 
technically they're dyed, but of course you go through the process as if you was painting. Of course, the roof has stars in it. It is a 550 piece with 60 shooting stars. Um, as y'all can see, man, I did a pretty good job, man. You can't even really see the holes in it at all. And even if you ran your hand across it, man, you won't be getting scratched up. So definitely love how that turned out. Coming under the seat. Disregard um, the temporary wiring. This amp here, a couple of the uh, channels went out, so I had to rig it. You know what I'm saying? So disregard, but y'all see the way that I had it originally. All of the wires came out of the carpet and straight into the inputs. We are running Def Bunts amps. I'm running a 2000.1 to 212s. If you see under here, <laughs> got the subs hiding behind the seat, man. 212s, two Sundown SD412s, man. All um, welding cable, all new concepts on the uh, speaker wire. Also running a Def Bonds 300.4, and this is a Def Bonds 300.4 as well. But this one puts out almost 500 RMS per channel. This one puts out like, I think like 250 to 300 RMS per channel. Uh, later on, when I plan on actually doing my doors, man, and I'm gonna have to get this amp repaired, and I'll be able to run the, you know, the speaker wires exactly how they are. But as far as the plans that I do have for it, man, super crazy. So, sound system wise, y'all see it, man. Got some kick panels. Y'all see the Crescendo logo in there. So shout out to the brand, man, Crescendo. So I'm running four six and a halves and two eights, uh, eight in each front door, six and a half in the kicks, six and a half in the rear door. And then we have McLaren um, titanium tweets. So the, it's a very, very nice setup. Uh, running a JVC dash. This dash here has Apple CarPlay. It has everything that you can think about. Um, actually, this dash here uses iData Link. So I can plug it up to my OBD2 port and get all the information that I would from the factory. Speaking of, uh, this truck does have a reverse cam, but myself installed a front camera because obviously it is very hard to see sometimes uh, with cars being as low as they are. Uh, let's see what else I may have forgot. Um, I do have a, what is it, uh, 24 count of rock lights. So as you can see, I got three under here. I got three under each wheel well, and I got three under each side, three under the front and back, and then just a couple just trickling in the middle of the truck just to try to get rid of some shadows. But um, I think that's all I got so far, man. Let me think. Uh, I do have an alternator that I did have built for this truck. I am running a, uh, a North Star Group 31 right now to power everything. But I do have a 270 amp alternator that I will be uh, installing from Brand X. Um, and then, of course, later on in my vlogs, man, I got a bed piece that I'm gonna be putting together, man. I've already built it. I've already done all the woodwork. I've already started wrapping it. I've already started putting terminals and stuff together. And man, y'all just have to stay tuned for when I can get y'all some footage on how that works. But with that being said, that is just a little walk around of the truck. Let me go ahead and sit the camera down so I can let y'all hear how, the, uh, how this exhaust sound. And there y'all have it, man. 
And actually, while I was starting my truck, um, it kind of reminded me that I forgot to tell y'all a couple more features that are with the truck. Um, so with these 1794s, they are the only truck on the market. It has electronic headlight leveling. So with my truck being lifted, I can, I can make the headlights go up and down without even having to go inside of the engine bay. Also, base knob, y'all already know how that goes. Uh, that is a Panda base knob. So it's not your standard base knob. This is a Panda base knob. Um, I also installed a wireless charger here uh, in the armrest. So super dope mod, man. It's very convenient. Um, and yeah, also, whenever you put the keys in, The steering wheel and the seat adjust to it. So 2015 with 2022 options, you feel me? <laughs> but anyways, man, um, what else? Uh, I think that might be it, man. I'ma just wait until nighttime and I will go ahead and get y'all some night footage within this same video. So when this sun go down, man, we gonna make it do what it do. All right, y'all, so it's nighttime, so just to pop things off, I'm gonna go and unlock the truck. As you can see, I do have that LED under the mirror. So nice little look, as soon as you first get inside of the truck at night. So let me go ahead and show y'all the uh, sequential for the headlights. Sir, let y'all see the sequential for the rear. I did forget to mention earlier, I do have all LED interior as well as LED in the third brake light. So in case I needed to look inside my bed, it does exactly what I needed to do. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, I do have the stars in the roof. Y'all see it, man, nice and clean. Let's see if we can catch a shooting star. There you go. And so as I mentioned earlier, I do have uh, 24 rocket lights up under there, along with the uh, LED badge. And what's dope about this is remote control. So no buttons on the inside. Y'all see it, man. Lit up nice and bright. I did get these off Amazon, so I will put a link in the description. Um, but yeah, man, definitely recommend these for the uh, rock lights. Ain't nothing like a clean suspension. But anyways, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I appreciate y'all patience on my first video back. Shout out to all my loyal subscribers. To the people who's following me on Facebook that shared my posts, on Instagram that shared and liked and commented on my posts. Man, uh, also make sure y'all hit me up on TikTok, man. I will be putting up some stuff on TikTok as well. But again, this your boy D Wood, man. I appreciate all y'all love and support. And until next time, I holla at y'all.